Greetings, my friends. I am Lord Stark, and since I've come to your time, I've been getting used to your monthly holidays. We don't have these Hanukkahs or Christmases back in Westeros. The closest we come is the Feast of a Thousand Apples. First, you get 1,000 apples in the month of Quagrog. Then, you wait for the apples to spoil, and I mean really spoil. Usually by the month of Novast. Then, all the children of the village jump in them, splashing around, having rotten apple fights. <laughs> it's a joy to watch. The children who don't die of dysentery are then usually considered healthy enough to be put to work. It's the best fifth birthday many of them will ever have. We wrap up episode two of Telltale's Game of Thrones adventure game with the various members of the Forster clan trying to secure their futures in the face of relentless persecution by the Whitehalls. Oh, I never got used to these things. Oh, my acrophobia! <laughs> and I'm scared of heights. You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. Indeed. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. Finn's a bully. Couldn't just let him push me around. Fight every bully at Castle Black and that's all you'll ever do. At least you'll be busy. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. This romance is getting started. You might be right. He said worse about me. Turned it to 11. He said... You fought for the North with the Foresters. He said that you were to there. you? At the Twins. Yes. Oh, he said that about I Kiana. still don't understand. Nice. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Fairness. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? We were a pretty Nobody bad army. Nobody was expecting it. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes, and, and the next... The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He deserved to be king. He was good at it. He was good at everything. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. Okay. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. You'll get revenge in the form I thought, of a shape-shifting no little girl. With a nice watch. So it'll all work out. Oh, who didn't light the lamps and the torches? Even in a video game, John looks tortured, really fake. There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor. Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. And they'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. I don't care if they hate me. Let them think what they like. Ignoring them won't be as easy as you think. Most of the men are criminals, forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. It happened three times? Because he oh. more than he could count. Yeah, no. Just sneak up behind him in one push and the game is over. The whole series is out of whack. They'll create a time storm the likes have never been seen since the time war. I felt the same first time I saw it. It's one hell of a mad I heard thing. you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? It's the elven girls love rangers. I want to protect House Forrester. You'll protect them by doing your duty here. That. Not many recruits want to be rangers. 
They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wardens. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. So, uh... I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. <laughs> Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. You know, we could always share body heat up there, uh, just saying. Uh, John? John? Oh. Seriously, light the torches. It was my job. I hate to see them gone out. in half his face, God. Hey, maybe that's... I'm here, but where are you? The half of the face that, uh... Lord Forrester was missing. Why can't I remember anyone's first name? That's Mira. That's Asher <gasps> and Jesus. I just can't remember Scarface right now. Oh, well. It takes a long in between games, but there's a lot of pizza out there to be eaten. So, you know, I get busy. Oh, it's Captain Handsome! Hello, Captain Handsome! It's me, the girl sneaking around! Hello? I can see it here. Where do you think oh. you're going? Ugh. At this time of night. I, I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? You love cherry Kool-Aid? It means you serve the Lannisters. Now that is more so, logical. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. No. I'm staying out here. Are you deaf? At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. You in this round, Captain Handsome. I hope he wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. Damien Handsome. Sorry, you I was were lost in the in throne room eyes. earlier. Did you leave me this note? I did. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Did you search my room? What were you looking for? Nothing, Lady Mira. I only wish to leave you a note. And dot dot dot. I am sorry about this, Mira. But you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. I... I should go. I'll make this quick if that helps. Well, Poopy. Hate to see you suffer. Run, Mira! <laughs> Bucket beats dagger! Aikiba! <laughs> Let her go! Bucket boy, it's you. Do I attack Captain Handsome, or do I run? Let Bucket Boy get around. So many choices. Oh, he's probably running out of oxygen. I better do something now. Fuck you. Is your mother with that now? That's coughing up blood and paranoia. Oh. Crap! You? What? What? What happened? What, what? What was that? What did it look like? He tried to kill me. 
Why would he do that? Daft boy. What are you doing here? I heard yelling. You did what you had to do, Lady Mira. That's what we'll say. It was self-defense. I need to get back. Someone might see me. I'll take care of him. I know a few places in Fleabot. No one will ever find him. We should talk about this. Later. I'll find you. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> Damien, where are you? Forensic technology being what it is, I'd rather lose the knife than have it found on my premises. <laughs> well, it's a fine day to burn some corpses. There are many who say that there are no good days to burn the corpses of your loved ones, but I say they're wrong. There's no snow, no rain, clear sea. Well, there's a little snow, but that's good. It's for mood. H E double L O. What's Gwyn Whitehill doing here? Oh, uh, Gwyn Whitehill, uh, yes. No idea. Hello, Roderick. Sir Ryland. It's been a while since we've met. Yes. Last time I saw you, you and my brother had almost started a war. Oh. Your father wanted to murder Russia for your little love affair, remember? That was a long time ago. May we speak privately? Roderick, that's his name. My lady. Why did I forget that? Roderick, I came here because... I know how hard these past few days must have been for you and your family. I know my words probably mean nothing to you. Thank you, Gwyn. I'm so sorry, Roderick. Your brother didn't deserve this. Neither of them did. Listen, I know my father is intent on using Ryan as a hostage. But I think you deserve some news of him. I know it's little consolation. But if I can offer you this, it's something at least. So you disagree with your father then? I will admit his methods are often misguided. But he's not mistreating your brother. I'm looking after him, but... What? The other day he said something that made me worry. Yes? He asked me if his father died because he was a coward. He asked if he was really a thief and a traitor, like my father says. I don't wish to upset you, but... I thought you should know. Ryan is strong-willed, like father was. He will not bend. I'm sure you're right. But he feels forgotten. Alone. He's waiting for his family, too. but every day my father tells him they will never come. That they've chosen their pride over him. And with each passing day, those words start to sound like truth. Tell him to stay strong. Have him repeat our house words every day until I come for him. Of course. But if you truly want to bring Ryan home, this war has to end. You know that. Time to settle down. We don't have to be enemies, Roderick. Capitulate. Hello, Gwyn. It's good to see you, Talia. Wave the white flag. I hope I can count on your discretion. Gwen, do you need help getting Audrey, out? You should speak to Mother. Dear. She's been cradling that doll and singing its songs again, hasn't she? Mother. It's not right in the head. Come join the others. He should be here. He should be with his family. But instead they send her. Don't worry. She's on her way out. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one, but his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. All right, he got his hand chopped off, right? Countless of our kin fell, saw our lands destroyed. Everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. Yeah, we're helping the Mad King burn people I alive. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house, my children. I won't let that happen to us. You hear that? You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. 
I will kill anyone who stands in my way. I will do whatever it takes. Remember that. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett. They all stand with us. We are strong. It might be time for Roderick to start making yes. his decisions by... I suppose we have to be. ...flipping a scarred coin. It's going all Harvey Dent on us. Would you say a few words, my lord? A few words, my lord. Ha! <laughs> that never gets old. What, she's still here? How long does it take you to leave? Wow. Dear extras in the back, thank you for coming today. My father. He, he was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. And he smelled vaguely of Limburger cheese. He was always honorable. I never knew a better man. Well, the Starks, obviously. And I am. I am sorry. I love you, Father. That's the Gangreen talking. Ethan. My little brother. He stood up to Ramsay Snow. Stupid. He saved our sister's life and paid with his own. He was only a boy. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester, my husband, my love, and our Lord Ethan. My sweet little boy. I promise I wasn't gonna do this. Oh, now here is I time go. <laughs> to say goodbye. Do you take these wooden nickels Father into the afterlife? Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice, and from there sacrifice. Old mustache. Thanks. New life begins. Iron from ice. Iron, Iron from ice. ice. Well. Use this as a cane. I'll set my foot on fire. Oh, oh, oh! Speaking of setting feet on fire. I prefer dark meat, but whatever. So, anyone hungry? Are taking their time to burn. Maybe we should have thought them out first. And the one and the two. From highs, from eyes, we first is born. To eyes, we all return. Father, brother, I've sworn, I've sworn. To guard this rest you've earned I'd bear my neck to win in pain And swim the shivering sea Pain slavers pay in crimson rains to bring As far as epic endings go, I've seen worse. We'll be 
back for episode three. Murder, political alliances through marriage, and burning the corpses of our loved ones. Yes, I really enjoyed the final season of Downton Abbey. Oh, as for the Forrester clan, we'll see what becomes of them next time on Telltale's Game of Thrones when we begin episode three. Today's question about life in Westeros comes to us from the King of New Anglia. Oh, my lord, you honor us. He asks, dear Lord Stark, what was your view on the Sparrows? Well, I only ever knew one, Pastor Jack. He was a bit of a character, but a better pastor you'll never know. Not overly cruel, looked out for his flock, and he likes the rum, but a bit odd on his feet. Yes, Captain Jack of the Sparrows was all right. I mean, Pastor Jack of the Sparrows, of course. If you have a question about life in Westeros, leave it in the comments section of YouTube. I'll choose one to answer on next month's installment. Until then, thank you for watching, my friends. I am Lord Stark, and this is Stark Raving!